Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to create app shortcut in Android using Kotlin. When you long press this icon, you will be get shortcut like this. You can also click and drag these shortcuts to your home screen. There are three types of app shortcuts. Static, Dynamic and Pinned shortcut like this. I will be show demo one by one. Now we are going to be create static shortcuts you need to create xml v25 under the rest folder then you have to create shortcut.xml here we created the two shortcuts one for fragment and another for activity you need to set id for each shortcut then you need to give enable status if it is true means this will be visible otherwise it will be disabled or hidden from here. Likewise, if it is disabled means you can also show some message. You can also set custom icon like this. Now I just giving the short and long label to display the name right here. If the space available means this will be show long name. Otherwise it will be show short name. Now Within the shortcut, I just setting the intent to navigate to some fragment. So first demo is we are going to be redirect this page to some fragment. We are using navigation architect method. So we have a navigation graph in our project. So in this fragment, we setting the deep link with the view detail page. So if the URI is match here, if the data here means it will be redirect to that respective fragment. Remaining things or target package name is your package name. You need to set your package name right here. Your target class should be your main activity. Likewise, we need to create one more shortcuts. In this case, we are redirecting to the activity. So we need to mention our target class as main activity and target package is our package name. So when I click this one, here is the activity. It will be redirect to our activity page, main activity. You can also disable this one. I just making this false and rerun this code. If it is disabled means this will be hide also. This message will be print when user on click that, on click that shortcut. Now I just going to be show some demo. So basically this is our fragment with deep link. This deep link name which be matched right here to data. So this will be linked. So when user tab that it should be redirect to that fragment. Now I just disabled that one. So it will be hide from here. Even if I click this one it will be print this message like my static fragment login question mark. Because I disabled this one so it showing the message. This one this message will be showed in toast message so likewise you can on or off your shortcuts in this static way you can also create these shortcuts in dynamic way i will be show some demo how to create dynamic in our code here is the fragment i just creating that create shortcut when user on click this one i just going to be create some dynamic shortcuts same way we need to create the shortcuts with id of our shortcut and then intent which we created to redirect to respective fragment page then label for short and long description and then disable message then we setting the custom icon the ranking is order to display the shortcut if you want to show display first means you have to set one and then followed by ranking two the order of your app shortcuts you can also set that one finally we just created this shortcuts one and two we just creating the list of shortcuts and we setting this value to dynamic shortcut to our shortcut manager we just created here shortcut manager we are going to be set the dynamic shortcut to the list of shortcut which we created right here i just going to be 
create dynamic shortcut just click this one create app shortcut this will be create app shortcut at the run time just try just clicking this one here there are uh, two shortcuts which we created dynamic activity and dynamic fragment now I just going to be update some of the existing content here is the update app shortcut when user on click this one user on click this one I just going to be update shortcut with the respective shortcut ID we already created the shortcut with D shortcut 2 is our existing shortcut ID when I click this one update it will be changed to dynamic yes changed and dynamic L change this name will be changed hereafter so I just going to be show some demo update app shortcuts if I click this one this name will be updated because this is a dynamic shortcuts we can add or update or even delete that will be available from this dynamic shortcut so now this name is changed dynamic L changed this one is updated it depends on your phone available space it will be display the short or long name it's based on your phone with size now we just updated this one shortcut manager dot update shortcut list of respective this shortcut ID we are going to be update existing shortcut ID so we used the ID of our already created shortcut ID now same here I just going to be remove these shortcuts and user on click this remove app shortcut I just going to be remove this one remove shortcut manager dot remove shortcuts shortcut manager dot disable shortcut this will be disable for for example if you click and drag this one to home screen means this will be disabled and here also this shortcut will be removed here after I just going to be remove the shortcuts remove app shortcuts now this will be disabled and as well as this shortcuts will be removed from our list so this one is disabled so this message is disable at disable message something which already we said and here this the list of which we created dynamic shortcut has been removed so we can add or update or remove dynamic shortcuts in this way so this are the way we can do the dynamic shortcuts and I just going to be show one more demo pinned shortcut pinned app shortcut same way I just creating the shortcuts in some separate object with the shortcut manager I just creating this shortcuts with intent of YouTube URL when I click this one it will be redirect to YouTube respective page so I just creating the intent with URL pause with our website then I just setting the short name and long name setting custom icon likewise I just creating one more shortcut with the intent with redirecting to some scrolling activity page so when I click user this shortcut means this will be redirect to some activity page I can also set this icon custom icon to this one and this one and finally I just creating the shortcut with the dynamic shortcut the list of shortcut I assigning to this shortcut manager dynamically now I just going to be get permission from user when user on click this one when user on click this pinned app shortcut YouTube means I just want to get permission from user here is the we need to check the Android version greater than or equal to 25 we should be and at 7.1 and above this feature will be support that's why we asking we just checking this condition then we just setting this one so shortcut.kt here we created the two shortcut one for YouTube intent and another for activity intent to redirect the this shortcuts URL now I just finally setting this one to dynamic shortcut manager after that we just getting permission from user shortcut pin now we are going to be show dynamic dynamic pinned shortcuts from the user desktop so we need to get the permission from user so when user click this one so this will be get permission add to home screen so this is our custom logo which we designed here so when 
user give approval to add to home screen means this will be add to user home screen like this now it's added like this from user home screen after getting permission it will be add from your home screen here we check the condition of android s plus means we need to give this permission for flag immutable otherwise this crash will be happen from android s plus version means android 13 plus sebo we need to give immutable permission will be discuss immutable later and then otherwise it should be flag update current after that we just giving the request permission to create in user desktop basically this function will help us to get permission from user to display this pin shortcut from desktop likewise i just going to be create one more shortcuts open message when i click this one it will be redirect to respect your intent so here we set the scrolling activity dot java page it will be redirect to the respect your intent page so for we seen the static for static XML, we can design the page and dynamically we can also create the shortcuts which we can add update and remove the shortcuts also we can create the pinned like this pinned shortcuts icon like this so this is way we can create these shortcuts you can get this code from bolt ux github you can find this link in our video description thank you guys see you next video